one more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could... face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. My old friend, it's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk in a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. 
In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. So I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from me. Go home, mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards, no exceptions. I hope you die weeping, all of you. I hope the plague gets you. My shit figure.
There's a man out on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. Should we gather for whiskey and cigar? Night There's a man out on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. Stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. Butchers are locking workers in the pump control station by the docks. If you could get in there, I bet the workers would tell you just about anything you wanted to know. Present yourself. Don't let me find you. He's cunning. We'll meet again. Probably rats into everything.
dangerous thing from Sokolov's twisted mind. We're the first ones to get them. How do they work? Well, obviously, you... Oh, actually, right, yeah. I'm not sure. She has to see reason. Let's lay a few out. Stryker's gotta hit one sooner or later. <clears throat> Someone's supposed to be on duty over here. Rockwild's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there.
power system in there looks like it will put down that whale in an instant. I almost think you should. I know they're just beasts, but still. Your men, your collective bonuses at sundown in my offices. Well done, my lords. The rest of you piss off. Careful. They're armored in front, but not so tough in back. I spotted a makeshift interrogation room in the meat locker. It might be useful to you, considering our mission here. To all striking laborers, my generous offer stands. Kill her. Drop her into the cannery. No one ever knows. You don't think.
troops. This is about fair pay and safe conditions. Don't bother. You're not the first of his moles I've caught. What happened, Abigail? I trusted you. Extra elixir rations, bags of coin as bonuses. But you're about to see that my generosity is counterbalanced by a very... Silence dies. Mr. Rothwell, Bundry. Don't call me that. That privilege is lost to you. You don't know, Ramsey. When he comes for me, he'll kill you. He'll gut you like the street filth you are. And feed you to the rats. Ah, uh, now it comes out. No one is coming. I've broken your strike, and my butchers are the finest fighters in Dunwall. Miss Ames, you're about to find out a few things I learned when I was a gaffer. I can do things that don't even hurt at first. This conversation is going to last a long, long time. Well, Dowd, what do you want with me? I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely. And then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught. And that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. The important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know... I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me. And I can tell you what you want, and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it. The Empress should have hired you to protect her. We'd be living in a different world now.
blood in my mouth. Nasty business. <laughs> say that ship was sold to Rothwald, cheap, by one of his business partners, a barrister, Arnold Tinch. They'd planned to sell a portion of the whale oil on the black market, instead of giving it to the Lord Legion. Treason. Would that be why you're here? My reasons are my own. The black market doesn't concern me. Interesting. Because that's only half the story. Arnold Tinch sold that ship to Rothwild because he was afraid of its namesake. Timps fell in love with a painter named Delilah. It was the scandal of the season. That shrunken old ledger acting like a giddy schoolboy over a nobody. A former serving girl from Dunwall Top. Let me guess. It didn't end well. It never does. But there's a mystery to this one. Something happened that frightened him very much. He dropped her overnight and sold the ship for a quarter of what it's worth. And Barrister Timps is not a man who scares me. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask him yourself. But I very much doubt he'll tell you. I guess we're done here. I'll meet you outside.
Witch's curse. Pressure in the pipes is welcome. Past safe levels. All employees must leave the grounds immediately. We're not done yet, Assassin. What about the shrines? Tell me about the blood rituals you performed here. Where did you learn such a profane practice? They sent for the hounds. This is your last warning. If you are anywhere in the vicinity of Rothwild Slaughterhouse. Anything bothering you, Dad? I've seen you kill a man without ruffling his hair. You took out the whole neighborhood. Barrister Timsh lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsh family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timsch paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. 
Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the barrister's niece. And she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her.